say, lovely, is we have mocks coming up soon. I know it feels like we've just been on summer and we were just relaxing, but all of a sudden, potentially mock timetables are coming out after half term, before Christmas. Maybe if you're lucky or unlucky, I never say it's lucky or unlucky after Christmas um, and it's this sort of time when people are looking you know the exams are getting very closer mocks are coming up the people are looking for a tutor and it's a great idea but it's not always an easy thing to find and it can be a very very complicated system to navigate so in this video I'm going to go over the best ways for you to find a tutor what to expect from a tutor and how to engage with your tutor so that you can get the best out of them Finding a tutor, the first bit, can sometimes actually be the hardest bit. Do you just ask like a friend or a relative to do it? Do you just have, like someone in the local area to do it or do you just pick a random website? That is the bit that I can make a lot easier for you. So if you look in the description down below, there's a link to where I can help you find a tutor. And these are people that are good at what they do because that is the most important thing about spending your money on a tutor because it can be a lot of money that you are spending on this person. And you don't want to be spending £40 to actually find somebody who's told you something wrong in the exam. Because if you are looking to really, really push to those top grades, you are going to need a teacher as a tutor or a very experienced tutor who's been doing this for years. Somebody who's used to looking at the mark schemes and saying, yes, this bit will get you marks, but actually, no, you've drawn this little organic chemistry molecule wrong or you've put the wrong comma in here. That's not going to be enough to get you marks. So... I can help you find those people. Links are in the description down below. There were lots of great university students around who will tutor and they will generally cost a little bit less than, than a professional teacher or a professional tutor. And they're really great for increasing your confidence, increasing your exam technique, increasing your knowledge of the subject and giving you lots and lots of practice. So when you are looking for a tutor, if I'm helping you find a tutor, you really need to, to hone in on what exactly it is you're looking for. Are you just looking to increase your knowledge and your exam confidence? Or are you actually really, really looking to refine your exam techniques because you're pretty confident, but you're for some reason not getting those grades in the exams? That's the difference between having kind of like a university student or a family friend tutor you and actually having someone who's a professional tutor you. Because I know for things like maths, everything kind of like it feels the same between all of the examples but there are subtle differences and you need somebody that is used to looking at the mark schemes and saying the way you've written it is correct but not correct enough to get the marks you need to have this working out point and this working out point and yes I can see you've got the right answer here for physics but actually the example device has changed and you need to show your full working out as well there's lots of subtle things that teachers and professional tutors know that actually getting a family friend to teach you they might not know and they might not be completely up to date with everything so that is definitely something you should be aware of when you are getting a tutor whether I've helped you find your tutor or whether you found your tutor from another place ask them if they are a professional teacher if they um, are a professional tutor or if they're just like a university student who is looking to earn a bit of cash and these can be absolutely fantastic university students insanely insanely clever ones who are doing this to earn a little bit of money but they might not be a hundred percent up to date on absolutely everything about all of the examples because the examples do vary in what they are asking they do vary in how they mark papers sometimes now when you have a tutor, a really great thing for you to do is actually go to them with a list of, I don't know this, I don't know this, can you help me with this? It's great if you turn up in the lesson and say, can we do a lesson on thirds today? Because whenever I've been tutoring maths, that is the first thing people ask, or vectors, thirds of vectors, they are always the first things. And generally, the good tutor will be able to go, yep, here, out of the top of my head, here is a lesson on thirds. It's more complicated at A level. Like if you go in and say, can we do a lesson on complex ions? 
the person might not be able to pull that straight out the top of their head. They might not have the resources right there. So get in contact with your tutor beforehand to say, can we do a lesson on this, please? Can we do a lesson on this, please? You might go to your tutor and just ask for help with your homework. This is good. It may make your life a little bit easier, but that's not necessarily what the tutor is for. The tutor is for there to help push and extend you even further than the homework, so providing work for you, providing worksheets and extra things for you to do. So if you say, oh, we had a lesson on an inspector course today, but I didn't really understand what they were talking about here, they shouldn't really be just be referring to your school notes, they should be providing extra stuff as well. Since the pandemic, it is now much more normal to have an online tutor. And I know some people will be kind of like, oh, I don't want an online tutor, I want somebody in person there with me. Things are different when it's one-on-one -on -one as opposed to into a class. There are kind of like joint interactive whiteboards where the tutor can write something and then the student can write the answer below it. So it is much more interactive now having an online tutor as opposed to having somebody there in person. It's also much more convenient having an online tutor because like there's going to be less delays for traffic or less cancellations because stuck in traffic and you potentially don't have to go anywhere for the tutor. And then they can just email the work straight across to you. So expect the tutor to be online now because that is much more normal than having somebody actually come to your house. If we're talking about rates for a tutor, you are unlikely to find anybody for less than £25 an hour. Some of the excellent A-level tutors, we are talking £75 an hour. And that might seem like a lot of money, but if it helps you get those A's and those A-stars and that place at university, it might pay off in the future. Obviously getting a tutor is a very personal um, decision and isn't going to be right for everybody, but for those people that want a tutor, um, I hope that this has been useful. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.